Today, let us talk about what is diminishing MRS. So let's first of all talk about what is MRS. So we had the indifference curve like this U and uh, suppose that if we are sitting at this particular point. Now at this particular point you had lot of Y right and less amount of X. Supposedly if you move if you want to move from point A to point B and point B shows that you have one more amount of X out here. So let me just also mark this up for you. So this is uh, the amount of X initially amount of Y initially right this is the amount of one more amount of X and this is the amount of Y right. So here you are at X1 Y1 here you have you are at x2 y2 right so in order to get one more unit of x you have given up these many units of y so that you remain on the same indifference curve so the condition is that you want to remain at the same indifference curve your utility should remain same so then if you want to get uh, one more unit of x how many unit of y you should be giving up you with me so this is like you are substituting one good for the another this is the rate of substitution now when we actually calculate this mrs now we are thinking in terms of very very small numbers very small numbers Achha, before then that also I want to tell you one more thing so at here you want to give up this much of y now to get this much of one more unit of x now let's think about here let's say you are at this point x3 and y3 and this is the another point x4 and y4 so let me call <clears throat> this point as c and this point as d so when you move from c to d in order to get one more unit of x this is also one more unit of x you are willing to give up just a little amount of y so what is happening out here now when you were at point a and you wanted to move at point b you had a lot of y with you you were even willing to give up more amount of y in order to get just one more unit of x because relatively you had less amount of x now when you move from point c to point d you already had a lot of x and you have very less amount of y so now in order to get one more unit of x you want to give up very little y so the rate of substitution is falling when you move from these points to this point one thing is clear so the rate at which you are willing to substitute at a is different from rate at which you were willing to substitute at c you were willing to substitute more and more amount of y in order to get one more unit of x at point a but now you are willing to substitute very less amount of y you want to give up very less amount of y in order to get one more one more unit of x at point c now when we talk about the mark i mean this mrs basically what we are talking in terms of very very small numbers right very small numbers so basically what we are trying to say is this that mrs is just the slope of the indifference curve so here you have a very high slope of the indifference curve. Oh, this looks messy so let me just uh, draw this once more right so you have the utility out here so let's say you are at this point beta so what is this slope is a very very steep slope right very steep slope 
Hmm? But if you are here, this is a very, very flat slope. Flatter. This is steeper, this is flatter. So what I'm trying to point out here is that when you talk about MRS, so you're talking about very, very small changes. So actually you're talking about the slope of the curve at that particular point. And when you move from point such as A to point such as C, you're finding out that the slope is a slope which was very, very steep. Now it is becoming very, very flat. So the slope is falling. And the another name of this slope, so what I'm trying to find out here, when you move from point A to B, what is it that I'm trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how much of Y you want to give up in order to get one more unit of X. That's what you want to find out. So basically, you're, you're trying to find out uh, what is delta Y upon delta X. So this is the another name of dy by dx only. That is the slope. So what are you calculating between A and B? This is the rate of substitution. You have said that this is just delta Y upon delta X, which is nothing but dy by dx only. So MRS is nothing but the slope of the indifference curve. Of course, utility is constant. Here at this point, when you had lot of Y with you and less amount of X, you can give up more and more amount of y in order to get one more unit of x. This will generate a very steep slope of the indifference curve. Here, when you have less amount of y and more amount of x, you want you would be willing to give up very less and less amount of y in order to get one more unit of x. So it has a flat slope out here. So this also, this condition is also related to what is known as diminishing MRS. This condition is also what is diminishing MRS. That is, if you move from point A to point C, the rate at which you want to substitute Y for X is going to fall, right? So you were willing to give up more and more amount of Y out here because you had a lot of Y, but you were willing to give up less and less amount of Y because you had less amount of Y in order to get one more unit of X. So this is diminishing MRS. So when you had diminishing MRS, the kind of the indifference curve which it is going to generate are the convex indifference curves, right? So this is also related to the idea of convexity. One more thing. So whether and all of these things are related. So when you have convex indifference curve, you can easily find out the tangency rule and find out the optimal. So before you check whether you can use Lagrange or you can use the tangency rule in order to find out the optimum, which I have talked about in the earlier recordings. You should be checking whether your MRS is diminishing or not. So let me give you a few examples out here. Before uh, those examples, uh, let me just give you one relationship between the MRS and the marginal utilities, right? Well, you know this beta, that uh, U equals to u of x, y. Let's say my utility function is like this. So I'll just totally differentiate both the sides. So it is du is del u by del x dx plus del u by del y dy. Now what else you know? Along an indifference curve, du is 0. Why, why, why am I saying that? Because along an indifference curve, the utility of uh, the individual is going to get the same utility at all the points. So there won't be any change in the utility. du is the change in utility. You are not going to get any utility change out here. So this is 0. Right, Buddha? So you have like this. So I can write like how? I can write 
dy by dx dy by dx as a minus of del u by del x upon del u by del y or I can also write it like minus of dy by dx as del u by del x upon del u by del y right. So what is this del u by del x that is nothing but the mu x what is del u by del y that is nothing but mu y right simple. Now what do you have basically you have this thing here. Mm, so what you are trying to say that MRS is the slope of the ratio of marginal utilities here. Let me give you one example. u is equal to xy that's a Cobb Douglas function. Let me find out the MRS. So in my mind I know that this is going to be negative. So I'm not putting this negative sign again and again. So it is mu x is del u by del x del u by del x is y, del u by del y is x. So this is what my MRS is. Uh, fair enough. Now I want to check whether this MRS is diminishing or not. Okay. So I hope you understand what is the meaning of the diminishing MRS. That means you move from point A to point B. The rate at which you want to substitute y for x is going to fall. Right? That is here you want to substitute more and more of y in order to get one more unit of x. Here you want to substitute less y in order to get one more unit of x because you have relatively less amount of y's compared to x out here. So what is the test of diminishing MRS? What is the test of diminishing MRS? MRS falls as x increases and y decreases. As you guys could see, if when you move from A to B, the amount of x is increasing and amount of y is falling. Right? Here you had this much amount of x, this much amount of y. Here you have more amount of x and this amount of y. So amount of x is increasing and amount of y is falling. Or MRS falls as x increases and y being constant. We'll show you the example. Or MRS falls as x is constant and y is decreasing. As x is constant and y is decreasing. So let me just check whether which of these points are relatable out here. I mean, this is very simple. So as your x is increasing, denominator is increasing, MRS is falling or your numerator is falling, definitely MRS is falling. So this is a sure shot case of MRS diminishing. So this is diminishing MRS. This is the sure shot case of diminishing MRS. Let's look at one more example. So what is your MRS? Del u by del x upon del u by del y. So del u by del x is 1 upon x. Del u by del y is 1. So this is 1 upon x beta. Now you think about it. Here, as x is increasing, denominator is increasing, so MRS is falling and there is no change in y. So 
point two will apply. That is, MRS falls as x is increasing and y being constant. As x is increasing and y being constant. You with me? Hmm? So this is also the case of diminishing MRS. This is also the case of diminishing MRS, right? Or there could be one more example. Something like this, u is equal to x square plus y square. So what is your MRS? del u by del x upon del u by del y. What is del u by del x? 2x. What is del u by del y? 2y. So it is what? x upon y. Now you think about it. Here as x is increasing, your numerator is increasing, MRS is increasing. As y is falling, your denominator is falling, MRS is increasing. So this is not the case of diminishing MRS. It is not the case of diminishing MRS. Right. Thank you, Beta. I hope you like this.